kind of of my career at Geneseo as a police officer. Um, this is me as a freshman and my student ID as a freshman and my parents and I on my graduation date. So this is 78 and this is 82. Um, after I graduated from college, I went to work part-time as a police officer at uh, Danzel police, off, or police Department. And I also worked during my career here um, at Mount Morris Police Department. Um, and there's some information from there. Um, I've also worked at uh, New York State Parks Police part-time as well. Um, after I got hired here in 1985, you have to go to a police basic school. So this is uh, a picture of my police basic school. Um, and I also I um, was the valedictorian of that class. I finished number one in that class. Um, we were public safety officers then. We wore brown uniforms. Um, and so this was pictures of me when in my brown uniform in 1984 when I was hired here and my IDs as I was hired here. And my cousin, Ed Kenny, also got hired at the same time. So there were two Kennys in the department. He's moved on to um, Alfred, but it's a picture that was in the Lamron um, on our hire date in 84. Here's some certifications that I've done. Um, I started, I was the first officer for the department to do radar. So I went to radar school. So there's an article in the Lamron about when the college went to radar. And then there's just um, some more training things in here, um, crime prevention courses. This is when I got promoted um, in 19... 91 to supervising officers and there's an article about there was a big um, um, power outage several days from an ice storm and the, the president wrote us a thank you letter for what we did during the ice storm of 91. Um, this was a tragic event that happened and it, soon after I was made assistant chief in charge of investigations one of our Geneseo students went missing and we had an extended um, search for her and it ended up tragic results. We located her, but she was deceased in the river. Um, she was also a uh, dispatcher for our department, so we had personal relationships with her. It was a pretty tough time. Um, but we were able to give uh, that parent, those parents closure for their daughter, and I've remained in contact with them since, and they write me letters all the time. Very nice people. I also attended the FBI uh, National Academy. That's a national academy for people from all law enforcement at officials from all over the world um, go to a whole college semester in uh, Quantico, Virginia and you take educational course. I took graduate level courses. Part of it is a um, physical fitness um, modem and so this is what they call the Yellow Brick Road. That's the, um, the Marine course um, obstacle course that you have to run. It's a five mile course. Run out and do the obstacle course and run back. And that's my graduation picture um, from the FBI Academy. These are my section. And then I also have a picture with uh, Louis Free, the director, as he gave me my diploma. Um, this is when we've moved to these uniforms. Um, we went from the browns to the grays and um, some promotional things. And then uh, three years ago, my boss, Jim Stenger, retired and I took over as interim chief police. Um, in August of 2009 until we did a hire. So there's some pictures of that ceremony.